Hello, you're listening to Lists and Other Things That No One Asked For with Jesse Barbin, your weekly mini podcast where stuff usually takes the form of a list about pop culture, music, growing up. So I hope you like it. I don't have a lot of regrets in life, not because I've done everything perfectly, but as I've gotten older, I have realized that all the mistakes I've made have shaped me into the person I am today, for better or worse. (laughs) Or at least that's what I tell myself. However, I do have one regret, and that is I have never dyed my hair green. I'm too old, and if I dyed my hair green at this point, it would just look like a guy having a midlife crisis. The window for me to have green hair has closed at least 10 years ago. The problem is I've essentially had the same haircut from when I was 18 months old to the present day. The haircut is the same haircut as my dad, short and parted on the right. That's mainly because my dad cut my hair until I left home a few days after my 19th birthday. I'm the oldest of eight kids, five of us are boys, so every few months he would line all five of us boys up with the clippers and shear us like sheep. I remember touching the clippers one time after he had done five haircuts in a row and they were as hot as molten lava, too hot for me to even hold in my hand. I asked him how he did it, and he said he just kind of shrugged, like how could he bear the heat? It didn't seem to bother him, and I could see him mentally keeping track of all the money he was saving by doing this at home versus going to a great clips. I kept my hair that way because I was too scared to do anything different. I didn't have the confidence. There were a few brief times where I tried to do things differently with varying results. There was a time in middle school where I tried to get a mushroom haircut, and I asked my dad to do it, and he tried his best. I think he got it mostly right, but I still got made fun of in middle school. I blame the haircut and by extension my dad, which makes me feel bad because you get made fun of middle school regardless, so I'm sure it wasn't my dad's fault. Later in the 90s for a brief period, I wanted to have hair curtains like Leonardo DiCaprio or the Home Improvement Kids or Ryder Strong. One morning I got up and parted my hair in the middle and headed off to sixth grade. By third period, though, my confidence had failed me, and I snuck off to the bathroom and parted it back on the right again. Like I said, no confidence. Later in high school, there would be instances where a long time would pass between one dad haircut and another. I imagine this was because giving five boys a haircut right in a row is the kind of daunting, recurring task that would make sense to procrastinate. Consequently, my hair sometimes got kind of shaggy, and at one point in high school, somebody told me my haircut looked like Noel Gallagher from Oasis, and I was pretty excited about that. Of course, this was right around the time that Oasis was starting to jump the shark, but no one had ever told me I looked like anyone before, so I was thrilled at the idea that my hair might sort of look like a rock star, regardless of whether or not he was past his prime. The hairstyle remained the same after I left home because I did most of my haircuts myself with some Walmart clippers. Every time I do it, I get hair all over the bathroom and drive my roommates nuts. So once in a while, I'd splurge and go somewhere. In 2005, I got a haircut at one of the chain haircut places and it was spectacular. I'm not sure what it was about it, but when I went home, I looked in the mirror and I knew things were going to be different for me. I was in community college and my grades went up. Whenever I would ask a young lady for her phone number, which is something you did in 2005, she would give it to me. I strutted around that month with all that confidence such as I had never known. When my hair had grown out after a month, I went back to the haircut place and requested to see that same person again. I think her name was Kim or something like that. They said, she quit. And I was like, oh no, can you tell me where she works now? And they were like, are you serious? And I was like, well, is that weird? And ultimately they told me, you can have Shirley do it. She has openings. And I'm like, of course I don't want to see Shirley. I don't want to have Shirley do it. But there was nothing else to do. So I did get a haircut from Shirley and it was whack just like I knew it would be, and my lucky streak was over, just like that. A few years after that, I graduated from college. I had gone to a small private college that had a dress code, and I had to keep my hair short. But once I graduated, all bets were off. I grew a beard and let my hair get really long. Well, by really long, I didn't mean just pretty shaggy. Shaggy enough to be ridiculous. I had hair like that when I met my wife, and she married me anyway. At one point, I also had long sideburns. I kept them long for a really long time, and looking back, I realized the reason was I didn't have any confidence in my face or personality or really anything else, but I knew I could grow thick, luxurious sideburns, so I leaned into that, my one strength. Last year, I was on the way home from getting my hair cut when I got into a car accident. I had those little bits of hair all over me when they loaded me into an ambulance and took me to the hospital. After they had checked me out and I had been in the hospital for a while, I asked for a washcloth or something to wipe the blood off my face and get the hair off my neck and shoulders. But it turns out that in an emergency room, if you're not actively dying and it seems like you're okay for the most part, they will diligently ignore you. So I spent a day and a half with all that hair on me. Literal insult to injury. 
I guess what I'm saying is if you're a young person and you want to try something different with your hair or your look or just try anything at all, now is the time. If you're old and have kids and work in an office job where you have to wear a collared shirt every day, it might be too late. Thanks for listening. I appreciate it. If you prefer reading, there's a sub stack. You can talk to me on any social medias at Jesse Barbin. Have a good week. Oh my goodness. Let's start over.